Hey guys, I filmed this back in March, originally, um, and some of this stuff is still true. I'm just going to keep popping in to explain where those things, what those things are, and where they are throughout the video. So, um, yeah, I'll be popping back in uh, shortly to explain everything. Okay? Peace. So, I thought I'd share my weekend with the driver era. <laughs> um, so, as far as you know, or as far as you've seen on the channel, I've been posting every show that they've had um, so far on their first tour ever as the driver era. So right around here, um, I, I give like a little, like you've been seeing on this channel type of thing, the driver era videos. Now the individual tour diaries, as I refer to the vlogs as, well the vlogs for this tour as tour diaries, I don't have them all individually, but I do have a recap video. So if I bring that up again in the near future, just just so you know, there's a there's a there's like a larger entry of the tour diary, like with everything in it, with clips from every show. The rest is all true though, so I'm gonna kick it back to my old stuff and I'll and I'll just explain. Okay, here we go. And that footage is obtained by the sources you see in the video and Twitter and all these different things and um, some of them are my videos that I took especially with Washington and Philadelphia because those are the, the two shows that I physically went to um, so that was really fun now let me tell you something um, DC for first First off, DC was fun. They were phenomenal. But it was so packed in the venue. And, you know, you couldn't really see anything because there was no, like, barricade uh, in front of the stage. So every, everybody was kind of piled on towards the stage. And um, it was a very uncomfortable experience it was still fun though but it was like very uncomfortable and it was like very like aggressive in a way so I have one thing to show you from that and that is I don't want people to come at me for this but that was the hold on this was the driver of Washington DC set list and as you can see I wanna try to scan it slowly so you guys can read it. Hold on. Um, hold on. The dirt or the blood. It, it starts off with Hip Hip Hooray, which if you don't know, that's a queen, um, kind of into window. <laughs> I mean another one. Um, but it's like the queen, um, 
Freddie Mercury Live Aid um, thing. It was very cool. And then you got Nobody Knows Afterglow. You guys can't see that, I'm sorry. Afterglow. Give it give you what you want, which is a really fun one. That, that was awesome. And can't take my eyes off of you. And I have to read through paper. Um Scared of Heights and Accused Succession and San Francisco and Never Tear Us Apart Natural Red. I can't tell you what red is, but if you know what red is, then you know. Um, but I can't tell you what red is. If you haven't seen the show via my YouTube videos, or if you haven't seen the show yourself, then yeah. Then I can't tell you what red is. Um, then we have end of your life which is a good which is a good song and then we have low preacher man and then there's two more songs after that and that was the set list for washington dc i'm gonna put this i don't want to oh no man hold on There we go. Wow. <sighs> and I also met them. And I don't have my VIP pass with me right now. But I did, I did meet them. It was really cool. Um, it was just the two of them. And yeah, they give great hugs and they really like my shirt. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, Philadelphia the next day. Oh, did I forget to mention? I was staying in the same hotel that they were. Yeah, that, that's why I didn't like put any locations on my Snapchat um, for that reason. Um, so, yeah. And then Philadelphia. Oh my God, it was such a hectic day. Philadelphia, I love you, I really do. And we brought the house down. All right. And you're awesome. And the set list for that show, um, as any of the other shows that you've seen on this channel so far. I, by the way, I, I got Boston, Baltimore, DC, and Philadelphia and even New York up up on my channel so you, if you didn't if you didn't get a chance to see, to see any of the show or any of the shows so far because you live in a different country or a different like a different state or you just couldn't make it all the links to each show will be in the description so you guys can watch and enjoy the show and enjoy the ride Okay, all of that is true, except that it's in one big video now, and yeah, enjoy the ride, uh, cause uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Alright, let's go. Um, if you guys want to see my main great pictures for, for DC, the link for my Instagram will be in, in the description, and they're on my Instagram, so... Check that out, and uh, yeah. But Philadelphia, hold on one sec, Philadelphia. One second. Hold on. Hi, Dad. Hi, Trish. You're How you doing? good. You're in the video 
Say hi. Say again? You're in a video. Say hi. Bye. Philadelphia is... Okay. If you guys don't remember, in part two of my R5 merch collection... Okay. You guys probably won't see the video I mentioned in the next clip for a little bit, but I I don't know if I should post it. I think I want to post it, but I don't know. So, whatever I mention in that next clip, you guys will not probably see for a long time. Just saying. Alright. That I showed you this stick. Oh my god, the lighting is so bad. Alright, that's a little bit better, I guess. But I showed you this stick. You guys can't see that, I'm sorry. Alrighty, it's right there on my nose. <laughs> uh-huh, see? Look. Hold on one sec. Oh man, I gotta pick that up. But anyway, um, remember how I said it was very hard to get a pair of these? Well, that is still true, because <laughs> because I'll show you I'll show you this, and you're you're gonna laugh when I tell you this story. All right. Okay, I don't know if you can see the difference because of the lighting. But look at the difference that is adds battered and used. So I'm gonna flip this over so you guys can see the name. Like Ellington Ratliff right there. Yeah. And it's got a signature. By the way, they're working on getting T D E drumsticks, by the way. If you guys didn't know that. Why well, now you do so? That's good, right? Um, so the story of the drumstick or the drumstick pair that I now have um, is well, it started two years ago when I'm just gonna put this right here for now. It started. Two years ago, when hold on, I need to pick this up more because it's going to bug me. I'm a little bit of OCD, don't judge me. So, the whole drumstick scavenger hunt started 12 years ago. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, 12 years ago, but not really. So, I got I got the first drumstick, which is in the, unu the unused one in 2017. The New Addictions Tour Show in Baltimore. Um, I said to Ellington, or somebody... I said to Ellington, I want your drumstick, and and my mom goes, yeah, she wants your drumstick. 
<laughs> this sounds so inappropriate. I'm sorry, Ellington. Jeez, that is bad. Um. So anyway, I got my drumsticks from Mark. Now see, I used a portal sticks from Mark back in 2017. But anyway, we met, uh, my, f my mom met this girl named Olivia who had a very, um, genetic, who had a very bad, uh, genetic disease. She was in a wheelchair. She couldn't really move anything. She really wanted to meet Ross. That, that's a whole different story in itself because it was very embarrassing. Not not the sentiment of the story, but the the way that she got what she got was embarrassing because my mom had to scream or screamed so loud over the venue that Ross stopped his acoustic set at the time and it was very embarrassing. She, yeah. But the, the moral of the story is good, but the whole point of the story is don't yell so loud to make Ross stop his concert. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I got both drumsticks, okay? Now, Mom, I st I, I'm still mad at her for this, but Mom managed to but Mark came over to me he gave me the drumsticks and then mom gave one to Olivia which I'm happy about but I'm still very kind of like oh god like why <laughs> but you know um and yeah moral of the story is Two years later, I finally got my pair of sticks, because look. Gay! Oh my god. Yeah! I finally got my drumsticks. Ready? Wait, this sounds like so. I'm just gonna play with it. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I can't play drums. Maybe I can. Anyway, <laughs> that was embarrassing. 15 seconds or however long I did that for um because I suck at playing drums probably not but I still suck so I finally got my pair after two years now the story behind that was Ellington since the rest of our five well, the rest of the band, besides Ross and Rocky, are not in Mean Glee anymore. Um, the only way you can see any of the other members are if you wait. If you wait at the bus or, like, before the show. Like, if you're just walking around wherever they are. Um, that's one way to meet all of them. Um... So the moral of that story was, I'm, <laughs> I'm at the end of the show when Ellington threw out his sticks. Um, I took a little, like a stage dive. My mom says it's not a stage dive, but it totally was because I, uh, I hit the side of my face with the stage and it was, it was cool. Um, 
because I literally dove forward into the security guard and he grabbed me. So I literally said to the the secu the one security guard's name is Josh. This is in at Union Transfer, by the way. So the one security guard guard's name is is Josh, and I said, "Go f go find Bubba. Go find Ellington because I call." Ellington Bubba sometimes. Go find Bubba. And uh, I, I gave him a description of what I needed and wanted. And this, uh, no, I gave him a description of what he looked like. And the other security guard named Max goes back, finds Ellington, and Ellington hands him a drumstick. <laughs> and he comes back. And I literally, <laughs> I can't pull my mouth. As you can tell, I'm still kind of like, oh my God. But he came back with the battered drumstick. I was like, that's a legendary drumstick right there. But yeah. Anyway, Philadelphia, DC, you were great. You're awesome. You guys are all awesome. Check out. And the Boston show, uh, Baltimore show, DC and Philadelphia, and New New York show down below. If you guys didn't catch them on tour, then for your next, the 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 shows are that I do for vi uh, the videos I do for each show usually go up right after the show. So if you miss any of the show, you guys you guys can rewatch it or pretend that you're there. Because I know some of you guys never saw the driver era or our ride before. So you guys can have fun, enjoy your own ride, and see you guys at the next show. Which is Denver. Yeah, bye. By the way, I, w I won't be at the actual Denver show, but I'll be watching from home. <laughs> or, yeah, watching from home if, if they live stream. Which I'm, I hope they will. So. I gotta go and edit this. I'll see you guys in two days. Two days. Yeah, two days, guys. Two days. Well, three days. Three days, guys. Sorry. See you guys in three days. Bye. Peace. Gotta sit back up. Alright, now bye. I will actually see you guys very, very soon. That was the end of the video. The link to the full tour will the full tour will be down below and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.